Okay, so here's my next project, y'all. It is the, this is what the china cabinet looked like beforehand. And we are gonna take this and turn it into a closed TV cabinet. Okay, so we've got it taken apart. I have the doors off. Uh, most of the hinges are taken off and I've gotten the back off. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a television in here. So what I want to accomplish is be able to shut the doors and close off the TV. So what I have to do is I have to remove these. So I have a new saw that I'm going to get to use today. So I am super excited. Check out my new hat, y'all. My friend Charlotte gave me, I love it. <laughs> so let me get my saw out and get busy and uh, get those supports taken out. Okay, so I got all that cut. My new saw is awesome. And it looks so good. So remove these supports. And so now you can see like tons of room for a TV. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, uh, the hardest part of that whole thing was removing those silly little uh, staple things that the back was attached to. Those were bare to get out. But other than that, this was super, super simple. So now I'm gonna reattach the back. And there are a couple places, I don't know if you can see that. You see the little lines there on the bottom? Like you see right there, right there, yeah. So those are little divots where the supports were. So I've got an extra piece of Luon. And Luon is that, really thin wood. So you see how thin it is? You can use this for anything. I always have Luon on hand. And so what I'm gonna do, that's all that's on the bottom of that is uh, Luon. So I'm going to cut some strips to fit. I'm gonna Gorilla Glue those down and then I'll be ready to sand and paint and uh, we'll be good to go. So stay tuned. Okay. So the back's on, y'all. It is so hot. Oh dear Jesus. It's September in the south. Yes, the humidity's gone, but the heat is like turned on anyway. So the back's on, excuse my little janky hole right there. Couldn't find my hole saw. Dang it. So I didn't get to use it because that's one of my favorite tools because it's just so cool. It just cuts the perfect circle. But instead, I just cut a wonky hole. But that's okay because the TV's gonna be behind it and it only needs to be for the cords. So everything's attached, everything's put back together. Can y'all see it come into shape now? Can you see this fabulous TV cabinet? Now, let me tell you, you could stop right here and you could literally paint it and put your TV in it. You could totally do that. I don't like to look at a television unless I'm watching it. So I am gonna put my doors back on. So that's gonna be the next step in this project, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna tackle tomorrow because it is hot and oh my goodness, it's hot. <laughs> and I'm tired of being outside. So until tomorrow, we'll be back. We're gonna put the doors together with piano hinges and, uh, and then we're gonna paint it. And then, oh my gosh, my year and, a half, year and a half of searching for this piece so that I have my perfect TV cabinet will be over. So have a great day and we will see you tomorrow. <clears throat> okay, everybody. Here's the deal. This project was a nightmare. Okay, so I was only able to like video half of how to because I was so crazy how toing. I mean, oh my goodness, this project about beat me. It almost won, but it didn't. It didn't. It is fabulous and I love it, love it, love it. So it was worth all the heartache and the crazy and everything else. So the reason this was so tough, I, and they're all my fault. <laughs> so keep this in mind when you're doing this project. So, 
and I'll show you the, the finished uh, piece after, but the china cabinet was not straight across the door, so it had that style to it, okay? So the doors went with that, okay? So they were shaped. So when I had to move the door so that they would piano hinge and I had to rebuild everything, I wound up having to add wood in three different places in order to make the shapes fit up. So does that make sense? Like they were like this as a china cabinet, but then when I had to move the doors with the piano hinges and all that so that it would open to the side, it fit like this. So that meant instead of fitting like that, it was like this. So it was super funky. So I had to add all that. That in itself wasn't that big of a deal, to be honest with you. Like it's something that I didn't think about ahead of time. It, I, if I would have bought one that was straight, I wouldn't have had that issue. So I still would have had to add wood in the center, but not on the outside as well. Issue number two, which I've corrected, and I will totally be doing a lot of a how-to on this. Not a how-to, but kind of an informational FYI. So, I was using a drill, a screw gun, a drill. This china cabinet was solid, hard oak. Solid, hard oak. And all of those screws kept stripping because they didn't want to go through that super hard oak. They just didn't want to do it. Oh my goodness, if you've ever stripped a screw, you know how frustrating it is. So now imagine doing that 400 times because that's what happened. I mean, you cannot imagine. I, I'm a pretty laid back person, but this fired me up. I stayed angry. Well, my husband came home one day and I was spent. I was over it. I was foul. And he came home the next day with the all new tools for me. And in those tools he bought me was this amazing thing called an impact. Okay. So this impact is like a screw gun, but it has what they call a clutch in it. So when it gets to turning the screw, a normal screw gun or drill We'll just keep going and we'll strip the screw head. An impact kind of knocks. And like I said, I'm gonna do a video on this so it doesn't strip it. Oh my goodness, life hack, life hack. The only thing I will ever use a drill for ever again is actually drilling a hole. No joke, wait until you see this. So I'm gonna do that later. But in the end, the project turned out fabulous. Uh, I'd highly recommend you doing it. Yes, I know you can go to the furniture store and you can buy a cabinet that will hide your TV, but guess what you're gonna pay? To get one that big, you're gonna pay three or $4,000. This total project, ooh, I haven't totaled it. If I had to total it, I would say I was under $200, like just maybe shy of $200. And it's, fabulous. Like, oh my gosh, it's great. So, I just wanted to tell y'all, I am not a pro at this. I just have grit, and I can try, and I can do, and uh, all is well. So, I will post the video, um, uh, I mean, I'll post the after, and you can see what's what. So, thank y'all so much for joining me on this amazing project. And if you decide to tackle this, please, please, please share with me. I want to see your end result and how fabulous your TV cabinet is. So, thanks so much. Y'all follow me on Instagram and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I look forward to sharing. I do share different things. Uh, on the different platforms. So be sure that you're following me on Instagram and liking me on YouTube. Both are DIY shenanigans. Thanks so much. Have a good one.